Once your MagPlus Designed app is live, you can monitor how people are using it using analytics. In order to do that, you need to build some analytics code into your app when you're making it. Now, as an example, we're going to use Localytics, but that's just one of the systems that is supported. If I tick the Localytics box here and then save this, that tells MagPlus Design that I want to include the Localytics code. I then need to tell it my Localytics tracking ID, which I do from the Analytics configuration option here. I'll tell Designed, yes, I'm using Localytics. And here's the tracking key that I've been given. I'll also track people when they're offline and save that. With that done, I can build a new version of the app. And that includes my Localytics tracking. So, let's say that we've built our app, including the tracking, and we've distributed it. What kind of data do you get back? Well, here's a Localytics account linked to MagPlus. You can see we're looking at about a month's data here, and there's some top-line information, such as the number of sessions available. But more interestingly, how long are people engaging with the app for? In this case, it's almost four minutes, which is pretty good. I can also see where those users are coming from. In this case, you can see it's mainly the UK and the US. You can track by country, but also by individual cities. In the bottom right there, you can see that London uh, is the most popular, followed by New York here. But then, most usefully of all, we can check out events. This is data passed by MagPlus, such as every time an issue is opened, or every time someone taps a link, or best of all, every time someone actually reads a page of the app, we can see exactly how many times that happens, but then we can also check out further data, such as what percentage of a page is read on average. The amount of data that is available is huge and can be really useful when you're planning how to set up your future content.